Okay, I'm continuing to work on my final exam solutions um, for my algebra-based physics course part two, the second semester, and here is a circuit question. And again, I don't, I don't even remember this question. So, uh, circuit below, find the current through each resistor, indicate the direction of the conventional current on the diagram. So R1 is 10, R2 is five, R3 is 20, R4 is three, R5 is 25. Okay, so I want to find the current. Let's just go ahead and pick, I have a 12 volt battery right there. I'm gonna pick this as I1. It comes down here at this point, there's a junction. So some of it's gonna go this way, I2, and some of it will go that way, I3. I'm picking the directions right now, they could be wrong. Now I'm gonna do one other thing. These two are in series, so R in series is equal to R3 plus R4, so that's gonna be equal to 23 ohms. So this is the same as just one 23 ohm resistor. Just to make things easier, you don't have to do that. Next, I'm gonna write down, I, look, I have one current, two currents, three currents. I have three currents, so I need three equations. Let's start with a loop, this loop, so uh, the loop rule says that uh, delta V around a loop equals zero volts. So if I start right here and I go in the direction of the current for this part, I'm gonna get a, the long line is the positive side of the battery. So I'm gonna get positive minus negative. So I get a positive 12 volts. So I'll say 12, I'll just leave off the units. Uh, and then over here, I'm going in the same direction as the current. So it's going to be minus I1 uh, times 10. I'll leave off the units. And then here, I'm going in the same direction. Actually, I could combine these two, but i leave it. Don't worry about it. Uh, so now I'm going to say I'm going to have a minus... I'm going in the same direction as the current. So it's going to be minus I2 times 5. And then down here, this is still, again, current I1. So I'm going to... I'm going in the same direction as the current, so I get minus I1 times 25, and that gets back to here, I have zero. Now I'm gonna go ahead and combine these two terms. I have minus 10 I1 and minus 25 I1, so it's gonna be 12 minus 35 I1 minus five I2 equals zero. Okay, but I don't, I still have two variables I don't know, so I can't solve that equation. Now let's go and do this, let's see which loop should I do. Um, I'm just going to pick this one. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go around. So the first thing I'm going to do is go across this resistor, but I'm going in this direction. I go in the opposite direction as the current. So I'm actually going to get plus I2 times the resistance of 5. Now I'm going in the same direction as I3 and I get minus I3 times 23 and I get back to here and I get 0. Again, I can't solve that equation because I have two variables. Now, finally, I do know one junction right here. I know that the current coming in is equal to the current coming out. So I have I1 equals I2 plus I3. Three equations, three unknowns. If you wrote that down, I mean, you're 85% finished with the problem. Okay, so let's get a piece of paper right here and solve these things. So how do we solve these? Don't try to add them up. You're just gonna make yourself miserable. Uh, I'm just gonna take this and substitute in up here. Maybe that's not the best bet, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna rewrite this as um, 12 equals 35 I1, but I1 is this, so it's I2 plus I3. minus five, oh no, it's plus five I two. So I moved these two to the other side and they became positive, so everything's positive right there. So now let's multiply this out. I get 12 equals 35 I two plus 35 I three plus five I two. So that's gonna be equal to, I have combined these two, I get 40 I two plus 35 I three equals 12. Okay, now I have this other equation down here. I'm gonna solve this for I2. So if I solve this for I2, I get I2 
equals I3 times 23 divided by 5. Now I can substitute that in up here and I get 40 times 23 over 5 I3 plus 35 I3 equals 12. I can factor out the I3 and I get I3 equals now I3 times uh, 40 times 23 over 5 plus 35 equals 12. So I3 is going to be equal to 12 over 40 times 23 over 5 plus 35. Let's put that in the calculator and so I'm going to say 12. You be careful here because you have an improper fraction. So if you're not careful, you're going to hurt yourself. So I'm going to do this right here, 40 times 23. 40, enter 23 times. Now I'm going to divide that by 5, 5 divided by. Now I'm going to add that to 35, 35 plus. And now I'm going to divide 12 by that. So then I get this. I get 0 0.055 amps. That's I3. Now I can work backwards. I already have an expression for I2 right here. So I2 is going to be equal to I3, 0 0.055 times 23 over 5. So I already have that in there. 23 times 5 divided by. And I get 0 0.2. 5.2 amps. That's I2. And then I can go finally all the way back up here and find I1. This is just going to be the sum of these two. So it's going to be 0 0.055 plus 0.252. And that gives me so 0 0.2.055 plus I get 0 0.307 amps. Now they're all positive values. They're all positive, which means that when I picked my directions up here, they were correct. Okay. If I solve for one of these and I got a negative number for my current, that just means it's in the opposite direction. Uh, let me check to here. The, my lowest current is I3, which is right here. Yeah, so that's going to make sense because uh, the current coming out of here. This is a 5 ohm resistor and that's 23 ohm. So a lot more current is going to go through here than there. I just want to check because I got some, one that was very low and I want to make sure it makes sense. But that's, that's that. There you go. Okay, we've got two more problems.